Hi, I'm Sylvia Friedman, and today I'm going to talk to you about what I value as a very important subject. How do you feel about being your own best friend? Are you? Well, it's so important for us to succeed, for us to know that we're confident in what we do, because we don't doubt ourselves, we trust ourselves, we build our self-love, we really realize that we're the important person in making our success. My clients often come in with the lack of self-love. And that is one of the things that I teach. And I really believe in truth, living your truth, understanding your truth, and feel very comfortable about being truthful. Most people have a problem with truth. Would you believe it? Every day we talk about truth. Every day we talk about Talk about truth, be truthful, don't lie, etc., etc. But it doesn't happen because so many of us don't believe in ourselves. We grow up in homes where parents don't talk to each other. We grow up in homes where we're not really recognized for our talent and ability. The first thing I need to tell you is don't doubt yourself. If you've got something that you're thinking, if there's something that you're wanting to do, if you're a leader, if you're with a team, no matter what it is, believe in yourself. And with those feelings, don't doubt yourself, believe in yourself, self-love, feeling optimistic about who you are, those things are so important in bringing you into the world you should be. Because so, much, so many of us go into wrong jobs, we pick the wrong man, mates, we don't have the right friends, we don't uh, let people see us in the right light. And I want you to think about that. I want you to understand that being your own best friend is helping you to succeed and do what you need to do. Don't forget that. You see, so many of us forget it. What do we do? Do we count the good in us? No. Do we count what we haven't done? Yes. And that is so detrimental to who we are. I chose this subject because I felt it was so important to all of you. Because most of us, unfortunately, don't have self-love. We can be successful, we can go out and, and, and succeed in our jobs, but that doesn't mean that we truly believe in ourselves, love ourselves, take care of who we are. You own you. You belong to you. So therefore you must take care of you. And so once you know that, and that's what I teach, that's what I do when I coach, because I find that so many of my clients don't have self-love. I mean, isn't that amazing? Would you think that that would be the case in life? But it is. And I don't, I really want you to think about being your own best friends. I teach it. I stress it. I know it's so important for you. So many of us in life don't even count ourselves. We're so busy being caretakers for everybody else. We're so busy making sure that everybody else is okay so that we don't have to think about ourselves. That's not the way we're supposed to live. That's not what we were, that's not what we were born to. But people feel if they take care of other people, number one, they can control them, and number two is they're not going to get so hurt. Well, trust me, it's better to get hurt and resolve that hurt and learn from that hurt than hide from that hurt. I'm sure that that makes sense to you, and I know how much sense it makes to me. And because I teach it, it's because I believe it in myself. 
I have learned to love myself. And with that, my legacy is to help others to love themselves, to trust themselves, not to be so overly self-critical. I want all of you to understand how important that is. You know, we can talk a lot of words in life, and words are good, but words have nothing to do with who we are inside. And what you have to understand is who you are inside is going to be so much better if you understand it. And you go out and you show people who you are. You're an example. You're the kind of person people want to learn from. You're the kind of person that can teach others. And you can learn from others because you're not going to be jealous. You're not going to think nasty things. You're going to think good things, positive things, happy things. We always say, happy birthday. Well, being also being in astrology, your birthday is very important in reference to who you are. And that's why I do a lot of these natal charts. Know who you are. Know how you go against the grain of who you are. Understand that. And in astrology, it's very interesting to know your year. Not because, oh dear, you're going to fall today. It's really about being aware of what is going to happen in your life. But I feel so strongly about sharing my belief that we all need to be our own best friends. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about.